Hello, this is Lindsay for the second part of the series on how to make a, a website. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at more ways to edit the text. Some basic HTML tags. I've written down a few of them here. Okay, and we'll have a look at those in this tutorial. Alright, so I'll just explain what they are first. First one is the ordered list, and the second one's unordered list. To make the actual items, we need to have those tags as well, for both of them, list items. Uh, here we have bold, B for bold, I for italics, U for underline, small, makes the text smaller, strong, is similar to bold, not quite as bright as bold, code is for computer code, and that's a line break, that's horizontal re return, and this is these ones are for comments. <coughs> okay, we'll use the <coughs> the file I used last time for hello. Okay, by default it opens in a browser, so we're going to open it up in Notepad. <coughs> All right. So at first we'll have a look at bold italics and underline, small strong code. Okay, so put bold here, so B, also do italics. Bold and italics, you can end them wherever you like. So I'll end the bold there, and I'll end italics right at the end. And for this one here, I'll make that underline. And italics for the first word. Make another sentence for small. This sentence, this one is for code, and this sentence is strong. Now compare strong to bold, so I'll put that right next to it. So I just put the tags in, small, code, space there, um, strong. Let's have a look at that, how that looks. Control is for save. All right, so we've got up here, we have <clears throat> paragraph one. It has um, bold and italics. Okay, you can see I haven't closed off this, this bold tag properly, so I'll just close it up properly, refresh that page. Actually, sorry. Save it, and then refresh the page. Okay, so now I've got the first two words, as you can see over here, first two words are bold, and we closed, <coughs> closed off the bold tag, and we've got italics right until the end. And this sentence here, we have underline for the whole sentence, and um, italics is just for the first first word. All right, and then we have this sentence is small. This is code used for computer code to distinguish between the other text and computer code. And this one is this one's strong, and that's bold. But they're almost identical. However, you can possibly see a slightly bolder for bold than for strong. It's only marginally different. 
Okay. All right, we'll go back to back to here. <coughs> so I've used all, all of those. Now I'll go into the lists. Okay, I'll make a simple list. Okay, this is an ordered list. This is an unordered list. items. <coughs> I'll put um, <coughs> three different items for each one. Okay, and <coughs> I'll just make them the colors. Right, let's compare the, diff the different lists. I've saved that. <coughs> so the order ordered list has numbers, and the unordered list just has bullet points. Okay, they can be changed if you use uh, something like CSS. All right. And notice how uh, we have just the one sentence here and over here it was two. It's because we haven't put any um, hard returns there. All right, so I'm going to use the line break to do that. We'll also put in horizontal rules in the comment. Okay, so a line break. That's simply just one there That's because it's a self closing tag put that the break there first the um, forward slash first don't need it there but it's best um, for some if you, if you want it to be um, proper standardized um, code I'll put it here as well and that will do have a look at that save it and refresh okay now I've got we had a line break there and a line break there. <clears throat> okay, and next we have from here a line break, hard, horizontal rule and comment. Okay, so I put a horizontal rule between these two lists. For this one, we don't need to close it off. For some reason, it doesn't work if you close it off first. So just write HR for horizontal rule. You could possibly put one at the end there, but that'll do. Just put a HR, and this is what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, if I put the closing part there and save it, it will not work. If I put it at the end, It'll work. It's always a good idea to close your tags. <coughs> All right, and so I've got the that um, the line break horizontal rule, and now I'll put a few comments on. Comments are bits of code that can't be seen by the viewer on the actual page. All right, so I'll write up here to do a comment. Okay, just like that. Then you can write whatever in here. Then you close it off just by doing that. I'll copy and paste that down here. Unordered list. Save that and refresh. And you shouldn't see any difference because that's a comment and it's hidden. Okay, and that's all we'll do for today.